Hey everybody, figured I'll introduce the next kit, do a little bit of an unboxing. This one I don't see too much on YouTube and all that. It might have had a little bit to do with it being hard to get for a while. Well now they're rel relatively easy to get. Uh, I've seen them in quite a few spots. I got mine just the other day after seeing it in stock right away. So I figured I'll do a little bit of an unboxing, a little bit of an intro, because this is going to be the next kit I do. Um, it don't seem like it's a very complicated kit. Don't seem like there's a lot to it. But let's open it up and see. I already taken taken everything out of the plastic. But I don't for the artwork. They do have a couple views of the trailer. Same picture, just more artwork. Color callouts, tools needed. So, big box, not a lot in it, but the kit looks great when it's done. So, let's go through pieces at a time. So, here is your actual rear bumper, and then some rails and supports. Uh, the these are probably either uh, suspension or actually jack stands. These are the tail light. Or the, there's a little light on the back. So that's supposed to be like a turn signal, I do believe. And then you got the rails. There's some more rails and supports. One thing I did notice, there is a lot of doubles. Like, So this is the US and then this is the UK version. Uh, the longer license plates, so that's the difference in those two. Uh, I do not know what the difference is on them. Maybe that's... You know what that is? That's the ball hitches. So depending on the vehicle that you're actually hooking it to, the height, that would be the difference on that. So, pretty nice uh, detail on these pieces. These are the rear lights that I thought that more before. Here is the actual frame for the wheels. It does have a nice wheel rack. These are the frames or the, the wheel fenders. You got some nice uh, steel wheels. These are the brakes. And that's the, uh, the one wheel for the tongue support. And then you got your spare tire. And this is the hitch part. These are the tire tire locks for the car that's being hauled in. Very nice detail. So there's that. It is molded. I don't know if the camera's picking up as good. It's a slight metallic gray. So if you wanted that special color, or if you couldn't find a metallic gray that would actually work well with this trailer, you could almost just clear it as it is. So these are the side frames. These are the ramps. These are the uh, frames that go with the wheel rack. There's the other side of the frames. It should be a nice sturdy kit when it's done since it's a lot of stuff built into the one. And then you don't have to worry about the details so much as in that, you know, because it's all one piece, it should be uh, relatively strong when it's all said and done. And then this is the bed. So you do have the uh, stamped steel where the white wheels go. And then you have the center deck. So pretty much everything is going to be that metal look. Except for these if you do it the right way or the way the artwork is. These are like a graphite gray or a black. I'll probably just stick with a... A flat black and then uh, you do have these little wheels and a pretty nice detail for being a trailer usually the trailer kits that you get in the States they do not have the best details the tires are usually plastic oh, almost forgot 
this was in the other bag or in that one bag with all the other parts all the parts were in there is your side lights um i think that is in the rear lights and then these are the way in the back lights the, the tail lights so you do have some clear pieces paint them up with some clear paint and then this is the pack of decals you have a japanese plate and then two uh uk or uh europe pet plates uh you just got just decals for your side markers and that these are for the rims you have brian james ta trailers logos everywhere um then the a4 transporter and then the re red decals that go along down the side so that's it for parts and decals now this is the instruction manual so this is an overview of what we just looked at all the part list so you should have all that the introduction to the model kit then it goes through a full diagram this looks like it does have uh, paint color call outs it does have the decal call outs and stuff like that now we're starting on to the first step is pretty much the main frame assembly it don't take long to get far in this kit and then now you're applying the uh, fender uh, the fenders on it and the mud flaps and this is the wheel rack and the wheels there's the hitch so you got quite a few steps but there's not much stuff to each step so I'm gonna get started on this one um, should see an update not too long from now I don't think it's gonna take forever to do this kit I sure hope not this is kind of a kit to get you through a uh, spurt after doing a whole bunch of kits it's a nice easy relaxing one so quick video show you guys what's inside of it i know a lot of you guys have been kind of interested in it um, so there's the update and i'll show you guys probably assembly before i paint because i'm going to assemble most of it all the silver part of the frame i'm going to assemble all together then paint it so maybe i'll send you an update before then all right thanks a lot bye so for this first step they had the two side rails and the four center posts going in now that's going to be kind of hard to actually get the make sure that's square i'm going to be shifted around quite a bit i would imagine and then they have the two outer so either you're going to have to fight these while they're still wet to get those on and then hope that you're true. And um, I'm going to try it a different way. I'm going to try these outer pieces first. And I'm going to hold the, the side rails down with uh, poster tack. And um, so this is what I got. I got the two poster tack down. And then I can line up this piece like that. And then I can line up this piece like this. And by gluing, putting a poster tack down, I made sure that these little uh, you can see them somewhat right there. I made sure those are touching the table so that the poster tack is not the base. The actual frame is pushed all the way down to the tabletop and that's my leveling surface because if I had those raised up it ain't gonna be square either so I'll glue those on and then I'll glue these cross braces on and I'm going to be using a glue that I can just drip on there and then hold in place so either your Tamiya your testers your thin your thin glues something like that that way but I'm going to pretty much triple check this before I do it 
So I am don't want to screw it up, but um, that was my way of because I only got two hands, and I don't know. I figured once I got those in, I'd end up being crooked, and then I'd have a wompy trailer. So this is my plan of attack is to do that. So that worked good for that. Those are just, they're still soft. I just did it. But also cut out the centerpiece and just rest it in there once these get hard enough to actually support something. And that way you can, can make sure that's square. And so one of them are, the one thing I got to worry about is these kicking like that as well. So you can actually eyeball it like this because I think this one is skewed just a little bit but that's what those one braces would help for that as well so before it's completely set up I might have to get a couple of those in and now I am upside down from the instructions so I'm still square there. And then this piece, you have to make sure you get these in the right direction. That's the wrong way. Because I should be going, going like that.
Now I'm going to let these cure up just enough where I can flip it over and put that center piece back in and make sure it's square. Uh, this piece here I am not going to put in yet because the poster tack's kind of in the way and I really don't need it if I get three of these out of the four cured. It, that last one's going to be easy enough to put in. So as long as I can get those in. Delicately put that back over. Set that in. It does fit there pretty good. I just knocked that one out. So I didn't wait long enough. Sometimes these easy kits, the fast kits, you gotta take, they kind of sneak on you. You gotta take that extra step in detail to get it just right. It kind of makes you want to rush through it and get it done real quick because you think it's just a simple build, but uh, it's a trick, it's a trap. Post attack is on there really good. These also, you gotta make sure that that's pointing towards the back. If you really look good at the instructions that you can see it, but there's not a whole lot kind of guiding you on that. One thing is, is, now after I get this built, what car am I going to put on it? It's always a problem with building a trailer is what, what ride am I going to put on it? Do I just keep it separate and just display different cars on it? It's always a fun part. It looks like it's shifted just a little bit. Use the grid and you kind of eyeball it. Let's see if I can put this on here without knocking a piece out again. So it fits in there. Looks like it lines up there. So I think I think we're good on that. So there's my little tip on how to assemble that. I know it ain't gonna help some of you guys, but if I help at least one person, that's all that matters. If I can help one person out, that'll make my day. 
So another thing that almost got me in trouble, I was going to glue these sides on, the top sides. These pieces right here. I was going to glue them on to make everything really nice and strong and have it all painted one color. The problem is, is this piece right here, these uh, ramps. These ramps have little pins on both sides so that they can slide through that track. You can see the pins right here. If you do not put those in now, before you put that piece on there, you will have to cut those off and then they'll fall out. This way here, once they come, you know, once you pull them out, they won't come out. They're always pieces of the trailer. So I caught myself. I almost did it because I wasn't going to look at the instructions. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and I was going to glue those rails in. And if I did that, I wouldn't have been able to use that cool feature of having this mechanism here work. And since I do want to paint these separate, I do not want to have those out. I figure it will actually ruin the paint job. I am going to glue those rails on and the top deck on after everything's painted. So these are going to be painted separate. So if you like me and sometimes you don't look at the instructions and then later on regret it, hopefully I can save you this step and save you that problem. Because that's pretty cool. Because once this model's done, those could get lost years later. Or you pick it up and they always fall out. This way they're always in there. And also it stops them right at that spot. So they're always hanging out. So if you have that glued up, they won't ride in that track. And I think they'll actually fall out. They'll fall through. Because that's the only thing really holding them up in there. And I don't think there's a special way, unless this piece is not in there. Let's try that. Well, you can't even pull that out. Put that out. That's not in there. Would I be able to put those in later? So there might be a way to do it, as long as that centerpiece is not there. Then you pull that all the way through, and then when you go to put this in, you'll have to start right there like that. So I'm going to keep messing around with this, and we'll see. Alright, so <clears throat> this is what it's going to look like when you get it done, or at least this is what mine looks like. I got it all painted and assembled. I did some weathering. Did a black wash to make it look uh, pretty road grimy. Not super nasty, but you know, nasty enough to a point. These still come out. I did a wash on them as well. <clears throat> this piece here is able to come out. And so you could do the piece that, you know, where it's not hooked to a hitch and then there's another piece where it's hooked to a hitch where it's not touching the ground so them are not glued in I could swap them out it did have a little lever that was right there they broke super easy so I just cut them off these are the glass pieces I did paint them with some yellow paint and then the clear back, you do have to paint those with the clear. So that clear red, and did a backup light and the amber turn signal light. And these also had to be painted. I haven't decided what license plate yet. If I do a vehicle, I don't want to have the trailer in another state. So I might have to figure out what vehicle it is first. And then this red is actual decals. I had the <clears throat> wheel wells 
glued in first. I probably should have had the decal put on first. So that's one thing that I should have did first was glue that or put the decals on because this is a separate one and then glue this on <clears throat> especially the spare the spare tire you had to get back in there and kind of push it down a little bit here's the bottom I didn't do too much with the bottom I uh, might do a little bit more weathering I don't know and the hitch or the, the winch, I should call it, not the hitch. So, <clears throat> there's that. And this Impala is pretty big of a car. And it does fit on there pretty good. <clears throat> it does overhang a little bit. But I'm assuming that if you had an Impala on a, any other trailer, it would probably overhang a little bit. Them are pretty good sized car. And then you do have the tire rack for your race tires. You have them like that. So this, you know, the race tires and that probably not going to have tires on there for a while. Cars, <clears throat> unless I do like a display for the channel, I might swap cars in and out. But I haven't decided on what this is going to be. More than likely, it's going to be a JDM car. I do have a couple that might look really cool on it. But I have not decided yet. So until I decide on the tow truck and a car on there, I'm, I'm not going to do everything on it. I'll leave a little bit left. But it's super good detail of a trailer kit. If you think of the trailers that come with the AMT kits... The detailed difference in this and those is mind-boggling how crazy the difference is. So you have that, and then this is what the, the classic kits that came with the trailer are. So that's probably why these sell out so quick, uh, because of things like that. Because that, this is about the only trailer out there that has detail. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys got questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, this was a very cool kit to get. So, hopefully you guys get one and have fun with it. Until next time, I'll talk to you then.